Hi everyone, today we're going to be working on the side splits. So this is a stretching routine I put together so that you guys can get your turning kicks higher and your side kicks way up above your head. These stretches are great to do after class when you're nice and warm. If you're doing them at home, so you can do the stretch say every single day, which I recommend. Um, a good warm up to do would be running on the spot for about 30 seconds and then you can do high knees for another 30 seconds and then after that you want to switch to like a jumping squat kind of idea. Not really high, um, just a little bit. If you want to you could do a jumping squat with the knee tuck. Um, doesn't really matter and you want to make sure you get to the point where not necessarily you're sweating but your heart is pounding a little bit quicker and faster and you're breathing a little bit more. If you finish the warm up in a minute and a half and you're still fine and nothing's changed, then do it again until you get that heart rate up a little bit and you're breathing a little bit. First stretch you're going to do, this one, um, I bought a couple pieces of equipment that I could use for this stretch so it's nice and comfortable and I can do it all the time, but if you don't have equipment you can just use stuff at home. What you need is something that you can put your knees on top of on the floor so that they don't hurt. So even if you just have like a dish towel at home or something and you fold it up and then put your knee on top, then you can slide along the floor. So for this one, you want to make sure you put the towel lengthways for the direction you're sliding. If you put it this way, as soon as you start sliding, it'll just roll over. So you want it this way. So you put both knees on top and then what you're going to do is keep your legs straight behind your knees and you're going to do a side split out that way, keeping your posture nice and tall. You put your hands on your hips if you want to. We're trying to avoid that inward lean that most people do when they perform side kicks or turning kicks. We want to stay nice and straight. If you turn sideways, your body should still be totally upright when you perform these kicks. So for this stretch, that's what we're working on is holding that proper posture position while trying to perform a side split. So knees on top, split wide. Um, you're going to hold for a few seconds and then you're going to draw your legs in, trying to bring your feet together and then slide back out, hold for a bit, kind of feel the fatigue of your legs holding there and then slide back in and you're going to do this 20 times. Uh, depending on you know how much you want to do, the more the better. Um, and then you can do, if you still need to warm up a little bit, do more pull-ins. If you are warm, then sit in the stretch a little bit longer. Or as you do the stretch, you can kind of work your way up that way. The other things you can use for it is, I went and bought one of the sliding discs that you can stand on. Um, these are meant for feet, and so if you put your knees on it, it's really hard and it still hurts, but it slides really nicely. So what I use is one of our smaller kicking shields, and I put it on top. And then this way it can slide much easier. It's a lot softer, and it also feels more comfortable when you're in the split to just stay there rather than resting kind of on the knuckle in your knee. Next stretch, this is the one that's really important because you are basically holding your positioning for a side piercing kick or a turning kick. Um, but without the pivot because we're still just working on the flexibility for this one. Um, what you're going to do is kind of similar to the other one, but this time you're not standing on anything slippery. So you're going to go into the stretch and you're going to find a comfortable place you could stand for a while and you want to slightly bend your knees so you're not putting tension on a locked out joint. So a little bit of a knee bend. Um, from there you're going to think, draw your feet in and you're contracting your inner thigh muscles, but you know, you can't act draw your feet in but you just want that contraction to kind of loose, uh, fatigue the muscles in your thighs so that they loosen up and let you stretch more. You're going to hold that for about 30 seconds and then relax the muscles but don't move anywhere and then you're going to go a little bit wider with your feet and then repeat, contract the muscles, hold nice and strong and then again relax, a little bit wider, contract another 30 seconds and then when you finish that pivot a foot and then pull it in so you can stand back up and then walk it off because your legs are going to feel like jello. If that's the case then that means you did it correctly. After that you want to do it at least one more time. I would recommend three times but it depends how much you want to put into it. Um, but th that's it. Those are the two stretches for the side split. Hold proper form, back nice and straight, don't arch forward and then you start with the knees in and out. This one is a good stretch but also gets your body warmed up a little bit. Then you want to switch and do on your feet and pull in. After class, if you're warm enough and you want to just do a quick stretch, you can just jump to the one standing and just drawing in your feet and trying to pull in that way and contract your thighs, go a little deeper, contract your thighs, like that. Um, after you finish these, if you want to give a little bit of an extra, what I like to do is to just kind of now move my hips around in their new flexible state after a nice stretch. Nothing too quick, nothing serious, just kind of moving around. I'll pivot my foot, 
uh, chamber my leg up nice and tight, and then just lift my knee up and down kind of as high as I can, nice and slow, bringing it all the way into my thigh, and then up nice and high, and uh, just kind of working through those hip joints now that they're nice and open and flexible. All right, that's the stretch for a side split. Uh, if you want to do more stretching or you have questions for me about what stretches to do for what, leave questions in the comments below and we'll make a video for it next time. Thank you. I can lay totally straight on the floor and I can achieve the full split. All you do is stretch your hamstrings and your quads. This foot. And you know, three, four, five of them, however many, um, until you get started getting really tired.